Question twelve. For all x greater than zero and y greater than zero, this means x and y have to be positive, right? X greater than zero means x is positive. Y greater than zero means y is positive. The rational expression square root of x over three square root of x minus square root of y is equivalent to which of the following? Okay, first the reason that they say x and y have to be positive is because if you have a square root, if you have a square root of a negative number, this has no real value, and you have to deal with like imaginary numbers. But they don't want us to do this. They don't want us to do this. So that's why they want to make sure that we are dealing with just positive numbers inside of the square roots. And let's take a look of the answer choices. Okay. So as we can see that originally. We have square roots on the denominators, but on the answer choices, there's no more square root. Right? There's no more square root on the denominator. So how do how do we do this? How do we do this? So another note. This is how we're going to do it. I need to um, recall a formula right here. If you have some number minus another number, so a minus b times a plus b, this will give you a square minus b square. So as you can see that we want to produce something square because when you have square root, square root of square, right? If you take square root and then square, the square root and the square root, the, the square and the square root will cancel each other out. So that's why I'm going to use. And let me show you how to do this. Question 12. Have square root of x over 3 square root of x minus square root of y. I cannot just take a square, take the square on the top and bottom. I need to multiply top and bottom by uh, the same thing. So that's how you deal with fractions, right? That's how you deal with rational expressions. So this is like the a minus the b. And then what we need to do is multiply by the same term. But just instead of negative, I'm going to multiply by the positive. So I'm going to take this and multiply by 3 square root of x and square root of y, but the middle is positive. And I will do the same on the top. 3 square root of x plus square root of y. Because when you multiply the top and bottom by the same number, the, the expression doesn't change. Right? The, the value of the expression doesn't change. And this is called the conjugate. Okay, this is called the conjugate. So let me uh, write this down right here. This is called a conjugate. So if you have like something minus something, especially when you have square roots, you want to multiply by the same thing. But if this was a minus, you are going to multiply by the plus. Likewise, if that was a plus, you want to multiply by the negative, the subtractions. Okay? And now, so this is the first step. This is what you need to do. And the rest is just do the work. So on the top, let me see, let me do the top, maybe, yeah, let me do the top first. I take square root of x, I can multiply inside, right? So square root of x times square root of x is just a regular x, and I have a 3 in front of that, so that's 3x. Square root of x times square root of y, because they are both inside of the square root, right? They are both inside of the square root, so that's square root of x, y over. So on the bottom, to multiply the bottom, we can just use this formula right here. Again, this is the a, that's the b. So when you multiply these two out, you will get, you take a and then square that. So um, the a is 3 square root of x. The first number, the first part is 3 square root of x. I need to square that. And we still have, we still have the subtraction. So we subtract. The second part is square root of y. Square root of y. And then you square that. Okay? So, let me see what we get. On the top, I have just 3x plus square root of xy. On the bottom, so take a look of 3 square, which is equal to 9. Square root of x square is just a regular x. Minus 
square root of y squared is just a regular y. Okay, so therefore, I think this is how we can simplify it. And let me see if we're lucky enough to have the same exact answer. And as we can see, let's answer choice C. Okay, let's answer choice C. So let me start quiz. Check. And maybe, yeah, right here, maybe if you have a question with a 3x, how do I get x? Uh, I should have say when you have square root of x times square root of x, this is the same square root of uh, x times x, which is x squared, right? Because they are both inside of the square root. x times x is x squared, but you still have the square root. However, square root and square cancel, that's how we just get the regular hex. Maybe I should have done that earlier. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so. Yeah, just be careful with the selection because a lot of these answer choices they look very similar to each other. Alright, so that's question number 12.